Today, we're gonna have a look at a session that I had with Yvonne Rasmussen, who is a very, very good boxer. Uh, she's a former European champ. She bronzed at the World Championships, multiple times Danish champ, multiple times Nordic champ. A pretty classic uh, boxer. And today she's gonna have a look and try to correct some of my boxing mistakes. She places a heavy emphasis on footwork. So she's having a look at my footwork and she's asking me to move without being too stiff. She's asking me to keep my hands up and to keep a rhythm that. So my rhythm corresponds hands and feet together. So whenever you want to do something with your arms, it's through your footwork you set it up. She wants my front hand to be higher. I throw it quite low, and as you can see. So she's asking me to move, uh, and then occasionally throw the jab. And you can see she immediately gives me feedback. So here she's explaining that either I need to move out or move back out after I've thrown or I need to slip right after or on the jab. Double jabs. So the first one is for distance, the second one is for, yeah, for impact. Oh, I thought it was a one, two. She's uh, asking for more rotation on both uh, punches. So, as you can see, she's noticed that I lean back on my cross, on my straight. Oh. And here she's explaining that I need to also keep my abdomen tight as I throw. I need to step up my back leg because I'm leaving it out because it will increase or de decrease the distance. So if I step up I'll have more reach. Oops. 
she's asking for more me she's asking me to be more loose rather than trying to punch hard which is something I say a lot to my own students so here Yvonne is asking for an increase in my hip movement both on the jab and on the straight on the cross So what she's explaining here is that my hand is too low, so it falls down and I need to pick it up before I, I snap it out. But if I keep it up near my shoulder, it will come faster, come out faster. And then I need more rotation on the, on the front. Nice and loose. Nice and loose. As always, <laughs> as everybody else, I need to keep my hand slightly higher. So here we're doing a roll. So she's asking me to do a step out on the roll. Because mm. the step out will enable me or her to have a better angle in closing off your opponents while my opponents here counters. And she says you can also wait for your opponent to here square up. step out because it, it it improves the angle so as she at the uh, uh, squares up I have a chance to land the straight and then follow up with the hook and then she explains that often people will drop their hands as they square up so it gives you an extra opportunity to counter them. Yeah. See, my hook is quite. It's not. It's a bit. Yeah, now she can. <laughs> she's asking me to keep my hook slightly tighter. Well, tighter. also because I'm not picking up my Lin Han. If I keep my hands up, my hook will be tight rather than... She's as saying she's as she throws a rather long hook, more similar to the Russian style boxers. She doesn't do the she she overturns her hand because otherwise she doesn't believe that you hit with the the right knuckles. So elbows should be higher on your hook than knuckles. 
Jamen, helt ned, helt ned. Det er lige nu, der er du ringet til det. He's asking me to get the rhythm. One, two. Bam, bam. Over higher. It's too horizontal, so I need to lift the elbow. Saying if you punch yourself with your shoulder, then you'll lift. I'm saying I did the lean back, it's a remnant from my point fighting days. I'm talking about how Mayweather did similar th She's saying that when you've got all your weight on your rear foot, it's hard to, to counter. I'm saying if I, <laughs> if I get to use the kicks, then I use the kick for the counter, for the defense. It's, she's saying my hook is still too wide. Just lift the elbow. Boom. She's saying, imagine that you th throw the hook over and down at an angle to hit the nose bridge, or oh, the bridge of the nose. So I'm asking if she steps out as she does the hook and she says she just twists into it. Oh. You can see my, yeah, there we go. I'm still stepping into it a bit. Not too big uh, circles, she's asking for smaller circles to keep it tighter. And then I need to stretch it so I get full extension on the punches. You can see the hip switch to get power into the punches. Once again, she's explaining that her core or her abdomen is is tight. Uh, so she's more concerned about keeping her hands high. Boom. And then she keeps her abdomen tight on the cross and the hook or the straight and the hook. And I'm asking if if you have your if you've got your weight on your rear foot if you're automatically def or defensive. <coughs> she says you only have your weight backwards if you're moving back. 
And you only do that in order to move. She wants her weight centered in order to be able to move. And you can also see her weight is centered no matter where she puts her feet. And she keeps her abdomen tight, she says it helps. And she's talking about the footwork. She steps over and then I said in my point fighting days we'd do that in order to or like we'd throw or do a step behind while we threw a jab in order to to square her up to open up to get the backhand open. So we were comparing their footwork. <coughs> Cross her. It's like shorter, like tighter. She wants it shorter and tighter. Hands back, so hands back up. I'm trying to undo years of the... I'm trying to undo years of training. She's complimenting me being a southpaw because she's also a southpaw. So we're both right handed southpaws. She's asking me not to be too bouncing, too jumpy. Ask for movement the whole time. No matter if you make a mistake, you're still moving, you're still moving, you're still trying to keep your hands up and stay ready. Yeah. And keep the focus the whole time. So you don't relax, even when you're doing mitts, that you don't sort of get into the habit of relaxing between. She, she was asking me to do the step out, which apparently is super hard for me. <laughs> I do it 
do like a uh, switch step first, which is just blocks and walks past. And I was asking if, uh, if if she only walks to the closed side or if she walked to the open side. And she says she's so certain about her 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 defensive skills that she she doesn't mind walking to the open side. Oh, yeah. Chin down. I'm still doing the switch. I'm messing it up so I end up orthodox rather than south for. What, 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 she says. And that was it. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe, like if you enjoyed the video.